I'm a huge fan of the Nintendo Switch, especially the eShop. There's so many great games that are constantly being put out on there and they're all like super cheap. Well, the ones I play are super cheap anyway. And because I'm a huge retro gamer, there are so many great retro games and retro inspired games that I think you should check out. How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here with seven amazing games you can check out right now for the Nintendo Switch in the eShop. And don't skip ahead because you need to let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And there's a certain unreleased trick on one of these games I'm going to reveal in this video. We're almost at 100. 50,000 subscribers. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe right now for your chance to win the next prize coming up. It's gonna be a good one too, I promise. A game I think you should definitely check out is a game called Grapple Dog. Yeah, that's right, Grapple Dog. Great colors, great sounds, love the soundtrack to this game. You play as this awesome, cute dog, pixel-based game, and you have a grappling hook, and that's the basis of the game. It's called Grapple Dog, and there you go. It's a platformer. Well, it gives you like this giant level basically to go through. And as the levels move on, it might introduce a new enemy, a new item, a new platform, a new something in each level. So it makes you want to keep playing to see what's going to happen next. I just love games like this. And this came out at a perfect time. I was kind of in a lull for myself personally on the Nintendo Switch and looking for something new to play. Video game conventions are starting to come back in full force. I'm already slated to be at like six or seven of them already throughout the rest of the year and still being invited to other conventions. So I need to have something to play on my flights. Uh, the Nintendo Switch is my travel system of choice and a game like this game, a game like Grapple Dog, is exactly the type of game I'm looking for on those flights. If you dig cartoony platformers, retro-based, Grapple Dog is a must-own. You gotta check it out. I think it's super cool. Here's a game for the Game Boy Color? No, 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 this is for the Nintendo Switch. This is Charon's Crypt. The gameplay to keep it completely retro is that four by three aspect ratio. So it actually has the things on the side that make it look like Game Boy Color, which I think is pretty super, you can turn that off if you'd like or different colors there, but I just think it's super cool. I'll keep it with this one. And the game itself, super cool. You kind of play as this ghost that you can also phase through objects, you can phase through pitfalls, you can like fly over things. And then after you kind of stun these enemies, you can inhabit them. And different enemies have different tactics, as you'd imagine. Like, you know, some of them have axes, some of them can fly, some of them can absorb things or whatever. You know, there's coins on the ground. You can't get it as a ghost, but if you absorb one of the enemies, that's how you can grab your coins, and you can use those coins to buy items and stuff later on in the game, too. It is a map. It is, it's as if the entire game is like a Zelda dungeon. Uh, from what I've played of this so far. I've been having a lot of fun with this game. I just started it recently, uh, but already I needed to tell you about it because it's definitely that retro look that I'm always looking for in my Nintendo Switch eShop games. And I just think it's fun that you can inhabit the enemies and play as them. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what enemies are going to happen later on. It's going to be super awesome. I'm looking forward to playing more of this. Have I told you the story of Yeah Yeah Beavis 2? Well, by all means, we're talking about retro games on the Nintendo Switch. Why wouldn't I plug my own game? 100 levels, two players simultaneous. You play as these Jangshi uh, zapping these enemies. You might drop some items every once in a while. Those items are gonna help you out on your way. Premise, simple enough, is you have to defeat the enemies in the time limit. You don't do that, game over for you. You got three lives, you got so many hit points. Outstanding soundtrack. And I would appreciate the support. You gotta check out Yeah Yeah Beavis 2. Even if you don't purchase it, at least put it in your wish list because it will be going on sale every once in a while. In fact, there's a sale coming up here pretty soon. I did a whole other video on the story on why it's called Yeah Yeah Beavis 2. You can check out that video if you'd like. In the meantime, it is available right now for the Nintendo Switch, along with NES and Dreamcast and even Steam. And here's the big unveil. I'm not going to tell you how to do it, but there is a way to play as me. That's right. As of right now, both player one and player two are me. Uh, player one is me with a spoon. Player two is me with my hat backwards with a soldering iron as your weapon of choice. Now this is very limited because in the next update, it'll be myself as player one, my wife as player two, and there'll be other unlockable hacks. Again, my last name is Riggs. I rig games, it's what I do. I'm going to rig my own game, of course I am. Yeah, yeah, Beavis 2, if you haven't done so yet, grab it now. I have more games coming out soon and more games from Nami Tento coming out as well in the very near future. Make sure you keep an eye out. More NES games on the Switch? Well, why not? This is the Nape Retroverse Collection. Is it Nape? I think it's just Nape. And honestly, I hadn't heard of this company or heard of these guys or anything until I saw this pop up in the eShop. And I was like, well, you get four games for the price of one. 
yeah, I may as well check it out. And these are totally NES games. I mean, to the point where it has your like B and A button and it tells you like, oh, this is B, this is A, but it's mapped on your controller as the Y and B button. So when it says press B, you have to press Y. I mean, it's that level of, <laughs> of NES game here. And four games to choose from. This first one's kind of a little platformer here. You can pick up these items and, you know, shoot the other enemies and stuff like that. That reminds me a little bit of like a, if Super Pitfall was good, that kind of reminds me of what this game's all about. So just one of four. You got this Uchusen game, Uchusen. It makes me believe that this game might be uh, Japanese by nature, but we'll see. Um, it's, a, it's a shooter and you go through the stage and you fight this kind of mother brainy thing at the very end here, and then you do it again. And you keep doing it and it just loops and loops and loops and not super exciting, but again, four games for the price of one, why not have that one in here? The next one, Uchusen 2 is literally the same game with a different skin. As if I took the original game, hacked it, edited my own graphics, and then republished it. That's to me what this seems like. <laughs> to a T. However, again, another game on the list. And although the first one was kind of fun, the platformer, uh, this one here, check it out. It's called Rectum. No, Rectum is the name of this game here. And it plays like a Zelda type. There you go. So if you're looking for a new Zelda type NES game, it's right here on the Switch. It comes with four games, but if you able to get this and just want to play this one, I still think it's worth your while. Neat to see NES games and neat to see NES homebrews on your Nintendo Switch. Um, had to check this out and I, I didn't pay very much. I forgot the price, five bucks or something like that, but yeah, I didn't pay much for it at all. Pretty cool. The Disney Collection, which already had Aladdin, the Genesis version of Aladdin, as well as Lion King for Super Nintendo and Genesis, uh, the new update, or if you just want to grab the new version of the game, that's fine too, has the Super Nintendo version of Aladdin that a lot of people were like, ah, oh, I like the Super Nintendo one better and they didn't include that one. Uh, me personally, I still prefer the Genesis version. However, the Super Nintendo Aladdin is very, very good and I'm glad that this is on the list. And also they included the Jungle Book as well. So you can also play the Jungle Book versions uh, from, the, uh, from the Super Nintendo as well as the Genesis as well. Not only do they feature some ideas where you can like, you know, you can stretch the screen, you can have like a different like, you know, like TV filter, CRT filter, whatever you need. Uh, it also does feature the rewind feature as needed, as well as you can watch. Now you can't watch every version of the game. Like for instance, uh, this one here, I'm watching uh, the, uh, the Jungle Book just to see through the whole game. And at any time you feel like it, you can jump in. At any time you feel like it, you can say, okay, this is this is where I always get stuck. I got past the part and now I wanna play the game from here. You can actually take control of the game from halfway through the game, near the end of the game. In fact, right now, um, I'll just go straight to the end of the game and uh, defeat Shere Khan. And there we go. Yeah, I beat the game. Not really, but <laughs> if you wanna play that way, you can if you'd like. Or again, I, I play these on flights. Sometimes I don't feel like actually playing a game. I just want to zone out. Um, I can just watch someone else play the game for me, which is fine by me. Especially handy when it comes to games like The Lion King, where it's like, you know what? Get past the double jump part for me so I don't have to. I'll pick it up from there. Not a problem at all. This is available right now. Great collection to have. Looking forward to more collections like this in the near future. Hopefully they'll do a lot more. Windjammers was a favorite on the Neo Geo for Mini and Windjammers 2 now available on the Nintendo Switch as well as other platforms where we're talking about Switch. So we'll talk about the Nintendo Switch version of Windjammers 2. Now you can actually play this game online. You can play it with others. Uh, this is just the arcade version that I'm playing here versus the computer. Uh, it's one of those games. I hate to keep saying it on my videos, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I'm not very good at it. However, <laughs> I can hold my own fine and I do have a lot of fun playing this game. I uh, can't go wrong with Windjammers 2. I love the fact that Windjammers 2 is so similar to Windjammers 1. It's like, oh good, this is, like don't, don't break what's not broken. Don't, wait, what? what's the word? What's the phrase? Don't fix what ain't broken? Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's, it's not broken, don't fix it. There you go. Windjammers 2, it's Windjammers. Just update a little bit of everything, uh, but plays the same and it's awesome. And a super fun game just to pick up and play a few rounds if you feel like it. Even more fun with friends, I'm sure. Uh, however, that would involve friends. So for me, one player it is. There we go. Or you can play it online, I suppose, right? Ooh, this game looks pretty. This game, I think, is called Vagante. Vagante. 
pretty cool. You can choose from a few different classes up front. You can probably unlock more later too. It's another one of those games I just started playing recently. Still need to get into it more. I'm sure it's gonna be way more fun with friends or playing with others online too. Trying to play it as a one player, pretty rough. I did not last very long. <laughs> However, it's just kind of fun to see because every time you play it, it's a different game. It's a different map. It's a different everything, um, but still kind of fun to explore and see what all is out there and uh, collect stuff along the way and just have some fun. Uh, so much going on with Vagante. I'm looking forward to playing more of this. Uh, but I wanted to show you for you uh, show it to you immediately only because I'm already doing this video and I wanted to get the word out there that Vigante is available right now and I've been having some fun with this. I'm looking forward to playing more. The Crunchyroll app is now available on your Nintendo Switch. I am a huge anime fan, mostly retro anime, just like I like my wrestling, just like I like my anime, just like I like my video games, I like it retro. However, there is some retro anime on Crunchyroll. So looking forward to having this available because if you have an account, you can watch it in offline mode. So when I'm on flights and everything, I can download some episodes of Loop in the Third or you know get caught up with a Tiger Mask or something like that, and I can watch those uh, watch those on my flights. So it's, it's gonna be super super handy. Grapple Dog is pretty cool. I gotta be honest with you, that's one I would recommend the most. But you definitely want to check out the other ones if you feel like it as well. Yeah, that one that looked like Game Boy Color and all that. And of course, come on, yeah yeah, Beavis too. Come on, man. Are there other retro wish games in the eShop I should check out. Make sure you let me know what those are in the comments as well. Subscribe now if you haven't done so already. We'll see you in the next video, which will be probably right now. Maybe not right right now, but you know, very soon. How about that? <laughs>